Bienvenue à Randolph. Nous sommes heureux de parler de notre programme. Bienvenidos a Randolph. Tenemos mucho orgullo de nuestro programa de idiomas y me encanta hablarles de todo lo que ofrecemos aquí en Randolph. Language is a gift and the opportunity to connect with people, history, and cultures different than our own. It starts with learning how to learn and the curiosity and excitement about being able to express yourself using different words than you're used to. And as they grow through the program, it's wonderful to see how they start to become more self-aware. We do expand on that in the middle school years, but it becomes a regular class where it meets four times a week like our other courses for multiple hours a week. I do think the teachers from the youngest grades to our most advanced levels are very invested in using so many different ways to teach and reach the students, to make it engaging, to make it interesting, to make it fun, to leverage technology, um, to engage as many students as we can in the process. Randolph offers world languages starting in kindergarten through 12th grade. Classrooms are a place for students to learn and be vocal. We actually are supposed to talk a lot. He doesn't just tell you the word in French and in English. He does a lot of different fun stuff with it. The interactive activities are really fun because you'll have like bingo and you'll have uh, these games that you'll play like Kahoot and stuff like that on your computer. But at the same time, you're sort of learning on an online textbook or stuff like that. I think that they really incorporate learning the language into fun. So I grew up in a two language household. So I've been around languages my entire life. The teachers are just great. We have immersion classrooms at the upper school. So during class, we only speak French, Spanish, Latin. We also have options during interim to go off to um, into the world and apply what we learn in the classroom. All kindergarten students take French and Spanish. First grade students take Spanish all year. Second graders take French all year. And in third grade, students choose which language they'd like to pursue fluency in. In middle school, French or Spanish are course requirements starting in fifth grade, and classes meet four times a week. By the end of the eighth grade, many students are prepared to finish at level two proficiency. In the upper school, all students are required to complete a sequence of courses for at least one language through level three, meaning every graduate has the opportunity to develop listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills, as well as build cultural understanding. There are course offerings for French, Latin, and Spanish, including advanced placement courses for all three languages. As students progress, many continue past the graduation requirement. When they leave our program, they're really fluent speakers of the language. Well, the majority of the world speaks another language, and I think in an increasingly global world, we have a responsibility to be participants, and I think our students leave as empathetic, um, engaged citizens in the global community. Here's how one alumna, who actively uses the language she learned during her time at Randolph, describes the experience. I started taking Spanish as soon as I got to Randolph. We would often have kind of partnered conversations in class and that was always fun. We definitely had a lot of conversations about culture that I definitely feel as though were grounding for me to kind of learn about the diversity of different Spanish speaking countries. I'd say that Spanish for one opened up a lot of opportunities for me. I worked with uh, undocumented immigrants and um, the Covington, Georgia area, and I used my Spanish there. I had the opportunity to travel to Cuba for uh, a course on the Cuban Revolution. If you are someone who wants to learn another language and you want to take it seriously, then you can, and I would encourage people to take that opportunity. 